Hey everybody, this is Roxy, and I'm just working on a swap for your paper pantry. I thought I'd just uh, do a process video. Um, we did a swap where we were swapping planner supplies, and um, we gave a list of supplies that people could sign up for, and then they would just make three and send them in, and we'll swap them out. And I'm going to make an envelope to put all the swaps in that everybody gets back. Um, the list of, of supplies range from uh, washi tape, uh, flat flowers, um, uh, any kind of embellishments, store-bought shaped paper clips or homemade paper clips. Um, I chose banners. So here is one banner. This is using the W plus nine elef or it's uh, unforgettable stamp and die set. So there's the little elephants, and then I just cut the banner holder off uh, the silhouette. And this is just a little, I think it's EK Success Punch. Um, so I did that one, and then I made these two. And that's using the same banner string and bow punch. And then this is uh, Jenny Boland's banner punch. So that's my banners. And then I also chose to send in wood pieces. So I have little bags of wood pieces for everybody. And then also shaped um, shaped paper clips. So I've got some from Ikea, some from Target, and some from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to make a uh, kind of a booklet envelope so that there's a lot of cool stuff I gotta fit in here. So there'll be a pocket here, a pocket here, and then basically a pocket in the middle. And one um, gal made a dashboard and her packaging, without the packaging the dashboard would fit, but with it it kind of peeks out. So I was going to, I was thinking of like, you know, connecting this, but I think it'll be better just to leave it, not only to fit her dashboard, but also if this gets kind of poofy and fat. So I figured out how I want to do it. I was going to you know, make it kind of like a, a book so that it was like that, but I think I'm just going to make it flat. So these are just Dollar Tree 8 clasp envelopes um, that I'm using. And then I'm just going to pull some papers from the Dear Lizzie Serendipity and American Crafts. Um, what is this one? I don't even think it has a name. Anyways, this one from American Crafts. So, I will pull some papers and cut them up. Oh, the color scheme too was kind of these, um, kind of like a turquoise and pink and just these paley, you know, pretty colors any kind of in that range. So I'm for sure going to take my pieces that I've cut up already. Um, I had a, which, what I did with the elephant is, I don't use, you know, like this, I don't know, you'd have to cut them all up. This come, came in the paper pack. So what I did was I positioned my elephant die on the flowers so that he'd be a floral little elephant. Maybe I'll show all of them so you can see. So it's kind of one way to use up an alphabet that you're not gonna, that's decorated like this. I got some schmigma on my camera. Oh, I know who got it on there. My husband he used it yesterday. All right, so anyways, back to this. So um, I could use this on the, you know, just kind of a fun little alphabet thing on the envelope. So that I will do. And then I might use some of these cards to decorate it.
And they're kind of not real bold colors or patterns for this because it's kind of more of a subtle palette. So I'm going to skip all the kind of busy papers in here, I think. I really like this. This was only eight bucks at Joanne's. So I was real thrilled to get that. <laughs> These would be cute for the. Isn't that cute? Oops, you can't see that one. The little mouse. But that'll be cute to decorate the bags too, or envelopes. And I'll just take that out. That's cute. I love how they put the banner on the top too. That's cute. Hopefully. So then what I need to do is I need one, two, three, four. I already got one up. Okay. So I just need four to make four. And I'm kind of just going to do like some mix and matches <laughs> with the borders and whatnot. So first I just need to fold the... I took the oh, fold this down. And I'm just going to cover right over that so I don't need to worry about that. I'm not going to use it. The one thing about these is they're not really creased here. So you kind of got to be careful when you're creasing them. It's like they only creased so much of it. So, and I'm just going to fold it in half. Oh no, you know what I got to do? <clears throat> I have to take off the bottom down here before I fold it. Just a little strip just to open it up. Now I can fold it. That's super cute. 
super cute. Alright, so then I need... <clears throat> These are... One and a little bit over one and a half. Can't they just keep things by six? Why can't they just keep things like, you know, in quarter increments? So over a little over one and a half. So one and a titch. It's one and a titch. Okay, so um I wanna do one of those wonky borders like was on some of this paper. Now I can't find it. Where'd it go? Oh, I think it's in the paper bag. So I'm just gonna um, cut them out myself, or draw them myself, I should say. So this is three, yeah. so one and three quarters. So I'll make a few of those. Some other little oh here it is that little wonky isn't that cute now see I wish they wouldn't put why do they put holes in there anyways it's like they don't hang them on anything but that would be, I wonder if it'll work on six inches but that would be cute to use for a slip but see it's gonna cut right darn it Maybe I could use it on as like a little shorter piece though. Like a little on the side or something. So let me keep that in my because it's darn cute. Um so then I do like this a lot. I think that'd be a cute border. And what is that? Three. We'll do four of those. I want a lot of cuteness and borders, patterns, and doodads. All right, so I'll be back. All right, so I'm just going to gesso all the edges and get my fingers all dirty. These are like gooey or like thick. Just so that, you know, if it peeks out, you won't see the manila. You know, that'll work with vintage -y kind of stuff, but to see the manila color, but I want it to be more pastel-y. So I'm just going to do that, and I'll be back. Okay, so I've got everything gessoed and it's fairly dry. So I'm going to start covering everything up. I think these were the small ones, so. one in the inside
then my poor nails are just destroyed from the fingernail polish that I was using. I actually think it's the um not so much the polish but the acetone the acetone uh, remover. That'll totally do a number on your fingernails. I didn't just sew the insides because I thought, eh, eh. I can do it after if I don't like it. Put that up too high. And then I'm going to try to cut this off. to follow that curve. Got it perfect. Alright, so then on the outside, then I gotta do my little pink. And I'm gonna do borders. these wonky borders. See that? I think that'll fit on the side. I will cut this out. Okay, so I have, I did some doodling and added my, I, I did a larger scallop on that. So then I'm just going to add some Velcro for the closure for there, but I kind of want to keep it up here. <clears throat> then I can decorate. You know, I find the best way to do the Velcro, and I'm sure everybody knows this, is to take one, leave it attached, take one sticky off, and then put it where you want it, find the center. <clears throat> take off the other sticky, and, oops, and that's not even centered at all. That'll be mine. There. there. And it's done. So, I'll do some decorating. So I cut out some of the pieces from the, like these are, these were journal cards, but I cut it up. So was this one, and I cut this up, and I found, I think I'm going to use my, um, the little flowers I got at Mike's for 50 cents, so 
These would be pretty too. And I might go that route, but I think it'd be kind of fun to put a lot of dimension on this. I think I might just do the flower. I think that's pretty, just as it is. Cause these kind of these, I could maybe put these on the back. Maybe that's what I'll do. So I'll do that last. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I forgot about these things too. Okay. I do have these. I could use This is a, from a new swap from Lorraine H. So thank you, Lorraine. I love it. And this is the Michaels um, cloth tape.
So there's that one. And I will finish the rest and I'll be back. Okay, so I have most of them all done. I'm just finishing up the backs, I'm putting on little sentiments and stuff. So I'm just kind of taking the little journal cards and doing some doodling. Up both of those. And then um, the swappers that they'll all each get one, so they can um, use these as maybe uh, card holders. You know, make another card and give it to somebody else, or put a gift card in it, or even just kind of a little pseudo mini album. Put some photos in for grandma or whoever, or a friend, or do anything with it. You. They're pretty fun to make and super easy and like I said the envelopes were a buck um, these flowers were two for 50 cents so and then the paper is just from stash it was a um, paper pad I got at Joanne's for on clearance both of them actually were so not too shabby I'll just do this one. <laughs> so it's a nice little pocket. I got a pocket here and a pocket here. That we can put stuff in and then you can put stuff in the middle too. Toodles.
there. Then I just need to finish decorating the fronts. I just used some of these little stickers to add just kind of little pops of color and whimsy. This is really, I love this paper line. Both of them are really cute. Um, this one is the Dear Lizzie. And I almost think the colors are somewhat faded, but in the paper, I don't know, maybe not. It's probably just my imagination. But anyways, I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, and I'm almost, I got a three paper pads on clearance at um, Joann's and I'm almost through all of them. Big. Ooh, a key. I'd have to put that on the back of something of one of these because it's not going to stick back on there now. Here they are. I put Velcro on the, this is mine because I got this off-centered, the Velcro. Um, but there's the back of that. <coughs> and there's mostly similar. The only thing I don't, I mean, I could put a piece of paper in here, but I think it's fine the way it is. And then I cut out the, with a round circle punch. And then just glued the negative piece down here so it's nice and cute. And here's this one. I was getting better at my centering. I like these sayings. I love this paper up here. It's so whimsical. Very cute. Smile. And then I just totally put a big glob of glue underneath this using that. Elmer's Sherbon. I love that glue. I think it's great. And it's a buck ninety-nine at Michael's. So you can't beat it. And that one. So then I made um, 
a couple banners for the swap. So I showed those. And then I packaged my store-bought clips in here. And the wood pieces in here. So I'm going to swap everything out. Everybody else's swaps. And I will show everything when we're finished. When I'm finished. 